Hi, this is State Representative Jay Neal reporting to you from your capital. It's been a grueling week this week under the Golden Dome. We spent the last three days in budget hearings, listening to department heads, commissioners, and directors coming to us with their 2009 amended and 2010 fiscal year budgets. As you know, it's a pretty difficult time for us in this economy, and the tough times that you're feeling in your pocketbook are being felt in the state of Georgia as well. As a matter of fact, the revenues for the state of Georgia are about $2.2 billion short. The governor has brought to us a proposal that is a balanced proposal, which is something that's constitutionally required of us. It's one of our responsibilities. We cannot do what the federal government can do, and that's print more money or, or simply pass a an unbalanced budget, we have to pass a balanced budget every year. And the proposal that the governor has brought to us is balanced. But in order to balance it, he had to dip into the reserves, which obviously are here for such a time as this. And he also had to not fund the homeowner's tax relief grant. For those of you that are familiar with the homeowner's tax relief grant, as a homeowner, you have a homestead exemption where a small percentage, I, I think it is about $200 or a little more per homeowner, will be credited back to you on your property tax bill. The state in return credits that amount to the local school or county or city that, uh, that your property taxes are going to support. With that homeowner's tax relief grant not funded, means for Walker and Catoosa County, for example, about two million dollars for each county that they'll not receive in state funds. Now they've got options. They can cut their budgets or they can issue another property tax bill to make up for the difference. That homeowner's tax relief grant is about 428 million dollars. There are also many other cuts that the governor had to make in order to balance the budget. We've been hearing those cuts throughout the week and I can tell you they're not easy. Over the last several years, we have done a very good job with fiscal conservativeness. We have, over the last few years, cut the fat. And now, unfortunately, we're having to cut some meat and some muscle in these budgets. I am committed to working diligently to fund that homeowner's tax relief grant. I don't want to see you getting an amended property tax bill. I'll be doing everything that I can to help the leadership of the House and the leadership in the Senate find those available funds. I've also been hearing a lot from people back home, from you guys. I've been hearing from you through phone, through letter, through email, and I know that you have some serious concerns about cuts that you have a particular interest in. I understand those special interests of the advocates. I understand it well, and, and to be honest with you, I would expect those advocates to be passionate about those special interests. Whether it's health care or education, whether it's public safety or transportation, whether it's addictive services or mental health and developmental disabilities, those special interests are important to you and I understand that. I also understand when you come to me thinking that your special interest is more important than others and that we've got to find funding for your special interest even if it means more cuts in other areas. I understand that. But what we have to do is look at all of those interests look at the big picture, and we have to see where we can make those cuts in the most fair and balanced way to meet the needs of all Georgians. Even within those special interests, we have people who come, for example, in education. We hear from those who say, you can't cut school nurses. Well, I agree in the importance of school nurses. Others who come and say, you can't make these cuts in technology. And there's no question we have to have technology funding as we move forward in this century. And others who say, you can't cut teacher pay, and I understand the value of teacher pay. And it's our job to look at all of those concerns and all of those interests and balance them out in a budget that all Georgians can live with. It's not an easy thing. Tough decisions are being made. But I can assure you that I'm here working for you to help craft the most fair budget possible that will meet the needs of all Georgians. I'll keep you updated as we go through the process. We began hearings in the committee, individual committees, subcommittees in the, the week to come. 
I'm on the education subcommittee. We'll start looking very closely at the education budget, and I'll keep you updated as we move through that process. Again, this is State Representative Jay Neal. This has been an update from the Capitol. Thank you very much. And if you have any, con any comments or anything you'd like to share with me, don't hesitate to give me a call at the office or send me an email. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you and God bless.